Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We're out on the runway in a older model uh, PX2. Valentina at the controls as always, but we have a contract for an altitude record. Uh, where is it? X planes high, reach 100 kilometers. So that is her goal today. Uh, her first goal is to get this fucking chunk of shit off the runway and not fire those uh, Genesis takeoff rockets too soon. Uh, now it looks good. Come on. That should be well fast enough. Crap. It was not. Yes. Okay. And we're up, and we did not lose a landing gear. That is always a concern with this plane. <laughs> is that uh, something will explode when it leaves that edge of the runway. Alright, so we're going to get up to altitude and out to range. You know the drill. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Why? Val. Val. Val, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, well that was that went horribly. I guess that's what happens if you set your AOA too high. What is that out there? Oh, some PX2 debris. That can't be from this flight. All right. For real this time, altitude range, you know the drill. I don't know what the deal is with all this buffeting around. Uh, it could be that I just had... Uh, I've been running Kerbals for several hours now, so it could just be that uh, the garbage collection's not working correctly and it's starting to lag and slow down. I'm certainly not hitting any th anything thermal having to do with the PC itself. But man, this thing just does... Well, one, these engines don't want to give me any actual thrust. Two, we just... Maybe I'm just spoiled by the updated engines on the... Ah, oh, come on. Alright, we're just gonna get out of this dive and go to town. This is ridiculous. This thing is a super apt glider, so we're gonna use it as such. God, so much fuel just going to waste. We really, really... I wanted to be at 12 kilometers altitude before I started this run. I really did. And I guess that's stall speed. Because, yeah, it totally just doesn't want to pull up anymore. Now we're, we're losing more altitude. From six kilometers, of course. Or, I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong. Everything's wrong. This whole thing is just wrong. You know, older design, maybe the engineers just didn't care when they slapped this one together and we got some bum-ass engines going. Who knows, but man, if I gotta sit here and babysit this thing, this whole climb to altitude, I'm not gonna be very happy. So, you know what, we're just gonna turn around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, Val. You're a hotshot pilot, but you're flying a chunk of shit. At least the, with these Derwents. Uh, the upgraded version of this with those uh, Avons was so much better. And I'm willing to bet that it, it has spoiled you somewhat. Oh yeah. We're just gonna go straight up. We can recover and come back down on the utility of that tail mounted drogue chute. Time being, climb, baby, climb. Come on. 
Let's at least put ourselves on a mark to make a good turnaround pass. Come on. All right. We're going to go ahead and ditch the pigeon in three, two, one. It's away. Engines are lit. Val just yanking back on the stick. Nearly vertical there. <laughs> Four and a half G maneuver. That's nothing for her. If we can just get this apoapsis to hit 100k, we will be happy, happy people. I really don't understand why it's buffeting around like this. Uh, heavy crosswinds today at 13 kilometers altitude. All right, Val. Emphasis here is on altitude. You had half the starting altitude of your last run. And the last time she did this in this exact same aircraft, her peak altitude was 122 kilometer. I've always thought that she could do better, 125, maybe even 130. Today is probably not going to be that day. But we shall see. 55 halfway there. Most of our fuel gone. Coming off the throttle a bit. It's starting to do that pitch up thing it does. Still pitching up. Come on, Val, wrestle it back in. Val, you can do this. Five, three more kilometers. 100 kilometers, Apoapis. Still going strong. Oh, come on. Val is losing it. She kills it. 113 is her Apoapsis currently. Still a little fuel left in these tanks to burn. And hit it. Got it up to 119. So far out of the atmosphere now, these control services do pretty much nothing. Future versions of altitude record seekers will need RCS. 123. She's past her current record. And that's all she wrote. 124. 0.166 kilometers is going to be her record for this run. Almost directly above the KSC. That was interesting, if only marginally successful. The landing approach is going to be super difficult. What a beautiful view. <laughs> How much of it does she get to appreciate? This might be panic inducing. Oh, that's amazing. Yep, <laughs> that's where we're going. You can see almost the entire state of Florida. Whoa, buddy. Val, I'm glad you're really good at your job because this would really throw me off. Oh, just watching it's making me a little woozy. <laughs> Arm that drogue chute. Where are we going to come down, roughly? Um... Well, we don't even get a velocity vector. We're so cool. So, essentially, straight down. Oh, yeah. Picking up lots of speed now with gravity. Uh, this... Buffeting around is going to make landing an interesting task. So 
Sounding rocket high. <laughs> that must have been from last time. The I yeah. And X planes high. We got paid four grand for that. I forgot how much we spent on the aircraft, but I'm pretty sure it was more than that. And the good news is we're getting all of it except the pigeon back, which is out there somewhere. All right, we'll just. Oh, that is. It's making me very woozy. Eleven hundred meters per second. First drogue shoot should be going any second now. Yep, there they are. You see them? They're like truck nuts. Oh, they're so tiny and cute. But they have arrested our spin, which is good. We're probably going to ride these. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, oh, this thing needs to slow way the hell down. Oh, punishing fifteen G's. Bell's drogue shoot snapped off in such a rapid deceleration. But at Mach 1, at sea level at 500 meters, she breaks it free. Whew! Alright, the buffeting of this camera is just driving me crazy. Well, you take you a victory lap. That was amazing. I really thought we'd lost this one. And I can honestly never quite tell because it keeps bouncing around like this. It's behaving like we're in time warp, but we're totally not. And that's really going to mess with my landing. We may just throw the shoots out on this one. Alright, we're gonna... I'm just gonna try to stare at the nav ball instead of at the aircraft because that's making me honestly kind of sick. I could have waited a while to turn around. Val throwing the landing gear out at near 90 degrees pitch. Just get home safe, Val. If you gotta throw the chutes, you gotta throw the chutes. You've already almost died once on this. Oh, what a bounce. Oh no. And the second bounce. Swinging around. She's thrown the gear in. That might be a mistake. I think we're too slow now. Throw that gear back out. Oh, Val. Oh no. Pop the chutes. We're done with this. <laughs> oh, don't roll it. Come on. A nice, gentle, on the wheels touchdown would be wonderful. Please? Can we? Bounce. Whoo! That was 
Way more excitement than I ever hoped it would be. <laughs> so this is going to be a quick one. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate it. I, I will catch you in the next one. See you then.